Great to welcome in Shannon Biedenbaugh, the chairperson of the Hilton Head Middle School Improvement Council, recently voted the number one school improvement council in the state. Congratulations, Shannon. Tell us how you won. Uh, well, we have been uh, aiming at this award for the last two years. Um, and we started what is called the Stingray Support Circle at Hilton Head Island Middle School. And it has just brought a bunch of community members together from outside um, of the school to make the Hilton Head Island Middle School the best that it can be. So it's even more important, we think of parents being a critical part of making this happen, but it, outside support's important too, isn't it? In today's day and age, it is super important. And there's so many strengths out there within the community that can be used within all of the schools here in the area. And it's important to draw them in and let them know what's going on and how they can help for sure. Give us an example of how, how that's working out, the partnership. Um, we have uh, local communities and neighborhoods that are forming together. Uh, they look at their past professions and they figure out what their strengths are and they come in and they tutor and they mentor. We have career days um, and we have items that we receive for the kids to help support those in need uh, that, that need those items to be successful throughout the day and they donate those items and help those students as well. Yeah, to a lot of folks this might be critically important as well because in the last rankings from the state uh, they gave everybody a grade and the grade was not good for Hilton Head Middle School at all but you have a new principal in Pat Frieda and you guys winning this award Obviously, I can see some positive momentum here. Are, are, are things turning around? Absolutely. It's significant, and uh, Pat Freda is so supportive and so supportive of all the community involvement there. Uh, there is a huge excitement. You see a difference in the students and the teachers. Um, and, and just district-wide, we've had some difficulty uh, mm -hmm. in the last year especially, so it's very important um, for our community to get involved and make sure we have strong public schools. What's the biggest challenge at Hilton Head Middle School that, that you guys are always having to, to figure out how to, how to tackle? It's obviously not the easiest age of students and uh, uh, then with all of the other stuff going on and, and you know, cultural mixes and all of that, what, what's the hardest thing to work with? Uh, you know, as you mentioned, the age is very difficult. We've had a lot of turnover at the middle school as well okay. um, in administration. And so we are definitely hoping uh, that this is the, the path upwards. The parents are there. They're involved. They want to participate. The community wants to participate. So it's just about connecting everyone and showing them how they can help. All right. Let's get them involved. When's the next meeting? Uh, we meet Before the this, end of the year? Yeah, the second Tuesday. So it'll be the second Tuesday in May will be our last meeting. Okay. Um, and then going forward, we do it every year. Um, and every school has an SIC to get involved on, in. Uh, you can look on their school's website and it tells you how to get in touch with a chair. Be a great opportunity for folks to go maybe to the May meeting and get a taste of it, particularly those who are going to have kids rising into the middle school next year and, and get a feel to hit the ground running come Very fall. Important. Shannon, thanks so much for the time. This is uh, great. Congratulations again Thank on you. the State Award, the number one school improvement council in the state. It's right here on our Hilton Head Island at Hilton Head Middle School. Thanks so much. Shannon Biedenbaugh of the Hilton Head Middle School Improvement Council.